Hello steamers, thought I'd give a review of this uh, Walesco D320. I picked it up yesterday, the seller on eBay actually only lived 8 miles from me and I was able to get the companion wagon along with it uh, for a price. Uh, these go new for, and this is new, it's right out of the box, unfired, right around $500 and I gave $375 for this one and the wagon was $80. and. Uh, <coughs> Excuse me, I thought I'd give a review of it. There's some things I like about it and some things I don't really care at all about. Now let's get the spark arrestor off of there. This, while it's held on with magnets, there's nothing that really locates this roof. I wish there was. It's a nicely made roof. And uh, it came with this uh, cover, this canvas cover for the bed. And uh, But I don't know why the bed is not pre-drilled for the stake hoops that go over it. The wagon is, but they don't include any hoops anyway. And it never mentions anywhere on the box that this is included. And one thing I've noticed is uh, where it's really heavy printed right there, whatever uh, ink they use just ate right through the fabric. Because it has holes in it right where all the lettering is. And uh, it's kind of too bad. But anyway, it's brand new. It's never been used. But uh, I just don't know why they include it if they don't give you the hoops to actually put it on. Okay. Moving on. Um, the bed does tilt and the bed's nice and wood. And it's good enough. Uh, this is going to be heavily modified if I have my way with it. The bed does tilt up. I do like the decking. Everything is... Uh, nut and bolt construction. I like that a lot because I'm going to take a lot of it apart and change things around. One thing, I was looking at this, uh, the uh, motivation for it, the boiler is, is way too small. And the sight glass is, I haven't fired it up, but I can imagine it's just about useless and the reports I have read said it is too. Um, let me get a little closer on this, hang on a second. Okay, I'm not really happy with the play out of this uh, drive here. As you can see, it's got a lot of play to it. At least a sixteenth of an inch. I've seen a lot of these running. This thing is just shaking all over the place, and now I know why. It's very loose in the fittings. I'm going to put a... Uh, PM Research Twin, V-Twin number 8 in here in place of that engine. And uh, that'll give me a lot of, it'll more than double the power. And it'll give me forward and reverse on one servo-operated stem. And uh, I think it'll be a lot smoother. So the engine and the boiler are going away. Now, let's give her an overall look. Okay, I'm going to be right back. I'm going to tip it on the side. Okay, despite what people think, the wheels are actually metal. There's two parts joined together, and this is a great big O-ring that can come off of there. But the, the wheels are metal, and they're not bad. Um, I don't care for this beveled gear drive here. You just got a shaft going through uh, some drilled out holes in these mounts, forward and aft, top and bottom. And uh, that's not going to have a very long life at all. The gears are plastic, but actually they probably would last a little while longer than these will waller out. Uh, the remote control, pretty much anemic. This big old long bar, just it's not going to take much before it'll just bend on its own. So I'm going to change that over as well. I like the chain drive there. That's nice. And this is actually, these are metal pieces here. Uh, the steering mechanism, so that's nice. Let's see if I can get a better shot. These are all things I wished uh, I could see before I bought one. So that's okay. Let's put her back up on its legs again. Hang on a second. Okay, we got her standing back up again. So I'm going to do a lot of modifying to this to change it around. The basic structure is good to work with, but... Um, the power plant and the boiler, hmm. 
not ideal. I would not give $500 for one of these brand new. It's impressive to take it out of the box and it looks nice and everything. But they just, if they would have just spent $50 more on this, better remote and better tolerance. This is a little bigger boiler, at least a third bigger. So you could get some run time out of it. I don't mind this on and off handle so much. It's plastic, but it doesn't bother me. Um, let's talk a little bit about the, uh, the wagon. Solid wagon. Uh, like I said, I gave 80 for that, and they're about 135 or so. Uh, there's the remote for this. This thing is so light. Uh, the wagon is actually bigger than the bed on the, the truck. The bed on the truck is a little over nine and a quarter, and this bed is almost 12 inches. Let's see, it's about seven and three eighths there. And about seven. So the width is about the same. Now, ironically, this is pre-drilled for hoops for a canvas that doesn't come with it and it doesn't have one that fits it. So I don't understand that. But uh, it's built very well. It's actually, uh, I think it's two and a half pounds. And it's a solid little accessory. The, uh, the hitch is metal. And if it's not wood, it's metal in here. So very nicely done. The... Uh, turn it right here, it's good. So I'm really happy with that wagon. Like I said, I didn't have to pay full price for it, and I'm glad. But anyway, there's my review of this Walesco D320 and the 325, I think they call it, wagon. Uh, this remote box is going to come out, so that means I'm going to have to put another hitch on here somehow. But uh, I'll have a video in the future, I'm sure. I'm not uh, exactly sure what boiler I'm going to substitute for this one, but I know I'm going to put a PM Research number 8 marine engine in there, I believe it is. And that'll really uh, give her some power and give me some servo control too. Forward, backwards, and speed. So, there we go folks. This video is long enough as it is. And I thank you for looking. And uh, St. Paul Steen saying, have a great day. Thank you.